everyone! I hope that 2018 has been treating you well so far. So this week's video is going to be about something that I've been struggling with skincare wise. So to make a long story short, or as short as I can because I tend to ramble, um, I have a dog at home and she's really, I can't even say she's really sweet, she's kind of like a devil, but like she's like I love her, she's my baby. And um, she's a Chinese crested hairy hairless and she's supposed to be like hypoallergenic but like there's no such thing as like a truly hypoallergenic animal so if your allergies are really bad like mine especially to cats and dogs um like even like a hypoallergenic dog will give me like some kind of allergies and one night i was kind of feeling a little bit lonely so i wanted to sleep with my dog in my bed and when i woke up my eyes were like kind of itchy a little bit scratchy a little bit swollen which is like normal, I knew that would happen, but that was also like the same time that like New York started to experience like, I don't know if it was like a cold front, but it's like a very like, recently for the past few weeks, maybe like three weeks, it's been very very cold in New York. Because my eyes were swollen and like itchy, I like rubbed them too much, and normally my eyes are very very oily, but I guess something happened where my eyes were a little bit damaged, or like the my eyelids, not my eyes, and so they became very dry. And so for the past few weeks, my eyelids have been really dry and swollen and it's been actually like really painful. And it kind of like hit peak yesterday. I blinked and then I was like, why are my eyes so itchy? And I looked in the mirror and like my, the skin of my eyelid had cracked and was bleeding. And so I realized like, okay, I really need to figure out how to fix this problem sooner rather than later. The moisture barrier on my skin is like completely hecked up. Something that I'm challenging myself to do is to use a sheet mask every day so that I can hydrate even more intensely. These are my two bags of skin masks. This is where I put like my sheet masks that I like the most and this is my like kind of like second tier doesn't really do it for me sheet masks. And they're all from this brand actually. My sh like the good sheet masks are from the Herboflore. It's a brand I discovered when I first went to Taiwan and then after I bought a few masks then I realized hey actually I really really love this brand and I think right now you can only get this in Taiwan or at least in Asia and so like the second time I went to Taiwan I bought like a bunch and I'm hoping that like maybe I can pick some up the next time I go to Asia but it won't be for another few years which sucks. And the reason why these masks are my favorite is because um, while other masks make me break out, I've never had a layer of eye mask make my skin go wonky. And so last night I tried this one, which is the Chlorella, Chlorella Antioxidant Firming Mask. Let's make sure I'm pronouncing that. Chlorella. Chlorella. It's more for firming and like anti like wrinkles but just using a sheet mask in general is good for moisture and so the way I've been putting them on is I've been I put I put the mask on where I was like I pulled down slightly so there's like a little bit of skin exposed on my forehead and then like the eye hole kind of like like was dragged down a little bit so that it would cover the top of my eyelid so that like I can really repair the fact that like it was bleeding and it really worked so like it's not really like cracky hmm. Oh, I touch my eye. The reason why my eyes are so shiny right now isn't because I'm trying like a cool like glamorous wet eye look, it's because like I'm packing on like different forms of moisture on my eye and because it's a Saturday and I'm not leaving the house I'm just gonna try my hardest to like make sure that my eyes if they feel dry at all I'm gonna put something on. I really like the mask it like it is more for firming so like my skin like feels like nice and firm and it didn't break me out or anything so this is something that I'd recommend. Something else that I have in my like A1 bag is this, this is the only mask in it that isn't from the Herboflore. It's the Tony Moly Pureness 100 Snail Mask Sheet and I'm gonna actually use this tonight. So snail mucus is really good for hydration and I kind of avoided the trend especially like in my earlier college years slash in high school. So I think in like 2013 to 2015, like snail mucus was like all the rage. And I, I'm i fine with like snails. They're the one of the few bugs that don't creep me out. And like I used to, like I don't mind if there's like a snail crawling on me or anything. It's kind of cute. But I kind of like avoided the snail mucus 
trend because I didn't want it on my face. Like, I don't know. But I did try one mask, and I I believe it was either this mask or it was another. It was a different Tony Moly mask that was snail mucus. And it did wonders. It didn't break me out. I felt very hydrated. Like, my, like, acne scars went down. It was a good experience, so I'm excited to try this. From, like, my second tier mask set, or I guess, like, the masks that don't really do it for me, I'm gonna try to give them a second chance. Hi! Okay, so I'm still wearing the same pajamas as yesterday, but I promise that time has passed. See? Now colors are different. I think I actually might change this again because it didn't dry properly and I went to sleep. But last night, like I said, I used the Tony Moly Pureness 100 Snail Mucin Mask. And I thought it would be more hydrating, to be honest. But I spoke to my friend and she said actually they're supposed to be... It's more like anti-acne. But I don't know, the last time I tried one, it was a lot more hydrating. However, um, I also was trying on the, I think... Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis Serum or like booster on my eyes that I think that also helped a lot but like together my eyelids actually this is the first day in a while that it hasn't hurt dramatically when I blink and even though my eyes are still like pretty swollen they're not as swollen as before and like I don't know like just my eyes feel more hydrated they don't feel like super dry they're still like kind of dry like a little bit like rough but I'm glad that this has been paying off so far. But about the Tony Moly Pureness 100 series, so when you open this up, uh, normally when you have a face mask, um, there's like a sheet of plastic, so you like peel it off, it's like a folded plastic, it's a mask on top of plastic and it's folded and then you unfold it and then you like take off the plastic and you throw it out. And I think the plastic is there so that it's just easier to like open, like easier to like unfold the mask. But in the Pureness 100 series, I believe that their whole like thing is that like it's like natural and like less waste, and so they use uh, unbleached cotton, and it still has some like the cotton like I don't want to say seeds, but like the little like bits, like the fibers. They're not fibers; they're like hard. The shells, is it something like that? And like I personally, for me, it's like very aesthetically pleasing, and like the quality of the cotton is really good. Um, I noticed though with this mask it kind of dried a bit faster so not like dry like it was a drying mask but what I do is I don't wait like 30 minutes for my mask and then I take it off I leave the mask on until it kind of wants to fall off on itself so if it's like um, like so sometimes it'll be like three hours that I'll have like a mask on sometimes I'll sleep in them because like that's just like I think that's how you really get it to like get your skin to like absorb all like the good bits in the mask. But this was a good mask, did not break me out. It actually calmed my skin a little bit. So props. I guess it really is like an anti acne mask, but like anti acne with some like rejuvenating properties. So I think tomorrow I might be trying the um, Pureness 100 Caviar mask just because I had good luck with this one. Tuesday after work, I'm gonna do a little mini haul of skincare masks. So I'm gonna try some masks. I'm gonna go to Innisfree and see if I can get some masks there. And I'm also gonna go to the store in Chinatown, 0035mm. you are like, ooh, 35mm. <laughs> and see what I can get there. Hello, so this is my third mask of my seven day sheet mask challenge. It's not really like a challenge for you, it's more like a challenge for me. And I'm wearing like this button up blazer because I actually just got home from a work meeting. So uh, this is the Tony Moly Pureness 100 Caviar Mask Sheet. So it's the same deal with yesterday's mask, or this is yesterday's mask, but like two days ago. So this is the same deal as the Snail Mucin Mask where the actual mask itself is like unbleached cotton and stuff like that. I found this mask to be a little bit more hydrating, maybe because it says like it's for nutrition. But then besides that, it was also very brightening. So if you have like dull skin or if you want your skin to glow more, I would highly recommend this mask actually. For me, I actually don't like brightening masks because like I don't like the whole like translucent skin look. I like I like an even skin tone, not like a bright skin tone. Because if my skin gets brighter, then like a translucent skin tone means like you can see 
my under eyes more prominently so it kind of gives me like a ghastly look where like my whole face is like kind of glowing and like like bright and lovely and then like my under eyes are just like severe <laughs> But besides that, I really like how hydrating this was. My eyes are like not, it's not painful to blink even if I blink really hard. So I think that my skin is repairing itself. This is a really great mask if you have dull skin. This is a great mask if you want a little bit more hydration. Bad mask if some brightening products emphasize your under eye bags. So I'm very excited to try some new products out and to finally have my eyes be not swollen because I think you also see throughout the whole video my eyes are getting like um like less and less swollen <laughs> hi I hope I'm in focus so normally I have my camera propped up on a basket but I'm kind of feeling lazy I just got home it's like 11 p.m. and I have to wake up for work in like eight hours so I'm gonna kind of like speed through this one um this one is the EGF facial essence mask by The Cure um, this one I got on sale, it was like a dollar per mask and I got it in a set of 10. So I don't know how much it is normally, but for like a dollar mask this is incredibly effective. And this time around, so earlier I thought it didn't break me out, but I did get like one new like kind of like deep pimple that I tend to get with this mask. Um, not super bad, but that's like something to keep in mind if you have skin like me where it's like too much hydration makes you break out. But like, all in all, this is like a pretty good mask. Also, I noticed that there was like cracking, not cracking, but like cracking under my eye. So I this time I wore the mask like normal so that my under eyes would be hydrated. But because of that, my over eyelids weren't hydrated. So I feel like my, like it got like kind of flaky again. Not as bad as it was before and it doesn't hurt to blink. It, like, it's not like as bad as before, but like still like, I was kind of like disappointed that my eyes weren't like, didn't like progress better. Today I did a little bit of shopping, which is why I got home so late. So I got some things from Innisfree, but I got more of the Innisfree Skin Solution Mask, the Hyaluronic Acid Mask. I think that the Skin Solution Masks are pretty effective. I also got it in, so I got three of the Hyaluronic Acid because I know this one works for me, but then I also wanted to try the Madacassoside, Madacassoside mask, and it's also supposed to be like it's supposed to be for enhancing your moisture barrier. And, like mine got like fucked up, so I'm excited to try this out. And then the last mask I got from Innisfree, I thought I would try maybe for like the last day, and this this was like expensive. It was like six dollars for a sheet mask, but ooh, and there's like fake graphics. I noticed when I was in the store with my friend Helen, um, the little like decal they have that shows like, oh, like we're gonna increase your moisture level and your visual elasticity, blah blah. It's the same on all the masks, which says to me that like this is bullshit. So uh, the graphs on the back I think are gonna be bullshit too. But this is like a cellulose mask, so I feel like it's more of, like one of those gel kind of masks. And this one is the ceramide and it's five proven effects whatever it's also for like hydrating moisturizing but I thought that it would be suiting for me to get a variety of masks so something that I know is tried and true something that I want to try that's similar and a splurge and I also got lotion and mascara Okay, so my battery is dying, and I also really, really want to get into the shower. It's like 11, again, classic. I got home a little bit late, again, classic, and to wake up early for work tomorrow. But <laughs> to keep things short, last night I used the Hyaluronic Acid Mask from Innisfree, and also to, not today, but like yesterday, I noticed that I'm trying, I'm starting to get like windburn around my face, and I think it's because I shaved with a dull razor. A few days ago so yikes but I know that this mat like this mask definitely like helped like the like roughness go down it's really good it's like non irritating or at least for like my skin type um, but then again like your mileage may vary um, it's like a nice mask 
it's like kind of like so like normally when you go shopping there's like three tiers of masks in like Asian beauty stores there's like the cheap one a medium tier one and then those like really expensive gel masks and this is like the middle tier one and so I really like it it's like I don't know there's like not too much to say about it it's just like a good hydrating mask and then today, I'm excited to try, after I shower, um, the Matacasticide, Matacasticide mask. Um, it's supposed to enhance the moisture barrier, which is something that I really need right now. And I'm sorry, I keep looking in, like, the viewfinder and not the, um, actual, like, lens. So I'm sorry if it looks like I'm absent-minded. I already know the Hyaluronic Acid Mask doesn't break me out, so I'm hoping that, um, because it's the same skin solution mask line this also won't break me out but we'll see and then tomorrow will be the last day of this challenge which is really exciting because like i can't believe i made it already to day six hi so i'm genuinely so tired i was at work from like i was just at work for a while i worked a lot of overtime today last night i used the innisfree skin solution mask in the Madagascar flavor in Madaca in the Madagascar side uh what's it called I really want to say flavored but like in you know what I mean I don't know how words work because I just spent so long at work so I'm like kind of dead right now but um really good like I really like the hyaluronic acid mask one but then this one also like I really feel like there was more I don't say like more of a difference I would say the hyaluronic acid one is good if you know that you need moisture, but then, like, I really do feel like this penetrates the moisture barrier. Not penetrates, but, like, it, like, repairs the moisture barrier, you know what I mean? And so I was very, very pleasantly surprised where this actually worked not better, but in a way that targeted my specific problem more effectively. And today is day seven of the, of my, like, little sheet mask challenge. And I'm gonna be using the fancy mask that I got. Let me let me grab it. I'm so tired. Uh, I just want to sleep for forever, but I'm watching anime instead. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying the fermented soybean biocellulose mask, nourishing and ceramide. And I'm very excited. I'll see you all tomorrow, and I'll tell you how I feel about it. <laughs> okay, so I haven't filmed myself wearing any of the other masks because, like. Why would I? Like, a sheet mask is a sheet mask. Like, if it's made out of... It's whatever. But, like, look at this. It's, like... It's, like, gel. And I knew it would be, like, gel. Like, and it, like, fits to your face. Like, in a really... It's just got, like, a nice texture. But, like, I can't get it perfectly flat on my face like a normal sheet mask because it, like, crinkles. But, like, oh, It's, like... It's, like, nice. It's, like... This is how I imagine, like, all the slime in those slime videos, you know, like, how I imagine it feels. Hi, everyone. So, yesterday was day seven of my seven-day sheet mask challenge, and I used the Innisfree Fermented Soybean Biocellulose Mask in Nourishing. This was the most expensive mask that I've ever bought, but I feel like after using this, I can't go back. The way that this was packaged was really interesting because normally when you use a sheet mask, so with the standard sheet mask, um, it's folded onto a piece of plastic so it's easier to separate the sheet mask from itself and then to put it on your face. Except for the Pureness 100 series from Tony Moly that has no plastic. But this one had two. One and then you peel one off, you put it on your face, and then when you put it on your face you peel off the second layer. Which is like really interesting. And I think it's because it's because it's like a gel. It can't stick to itself on any part. But oh my goodness, it was like soft. It was like the most hydrating mask I've ever used in my life. It made my skin, my skin still feels really soft afterwards. Like there's barely any more roughness left. It didn't break me out. Like my forehead, it's, I just feel like everything that was wrong repaired itself overnight. And I feel like these kinds of masks, gel masks, are usually, like, so, like, a sheet mask maybe you use, like, every day or, like, every other day. I feel, feel like, um, like, these more expensive gel masks, um, even though they cost twice or, like, a little bit over two times as much as, like, a sheet mask, you use it 
less than half the time so like let's say you'd use a sheet mask three or four days out of the week maybe you'd use this one or two so overall you're saving money and you're saving time it was such a pleasant texture and it like it was just so hydrating like it was like it was really soft it's like how I would imagine like I've never played with like slime but it kind of felt like like a softer play-doh not play-doh a softer kind of like putty that like just like melted onto your skin it was can you tell that I really love the mask but I guess some takeaways from my mask challenges sheet masking is great I think I'm gonna do it a lot more often now than just once a month I'm gonna do it maybe like I want to go for like twice a week maybe I think that's realistic for me these past seven days have made me feel like you know like fun bing bing how she like what I think she goes through like 500 sheet masks a year granted I only did like at this pace I'd do 365 but like I just feel like my skin really needed this and it was like kind of a stressful week for me where I don't know like today I worked a Today I was at work for like long, like more than 12 hours. Yesterday I was at work for like 10 hours. Like this whole past week has been a little bit stressful. But then like coming home and like part of the time I was just like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed. But I told myself I'd do a sheet mask. It's just like nice to take care of yourself sometimes. So even if you feel like, oh, I'm tired, I don't want to do this. Like taking care of my skin just made me feel a lot more relaxed and it made me feel a lot better about myself. So, I think it's like a good method of self-care. Ranking the sheet masks, I would have to say the Innisfree Fermented Soybean Mask, number one. Two would be Tide, my Herbofloré masks tied with, my, with the other Innisfree masks. Fourth place would, happen, would have to be the Tony Moly Pureness 100 masks. And then last place would have to be the Cure mask simply because I thought it wasn't going to break me out and when I woke up I only had one pimple but then as the day progressed you can see, like my skin started to get like more spots so like I had just one here but like this one got a little bit worse it's better now I got like a pimple here too and then I had like some pimples like just like tiny ones around my face so the cure mask was like nice it was good it was like good quality but I would have to say that it was my least favorite out of the different masks I tried but texture wise like so like this mask wins all around like hands down it's had the best texture but then after that one I really feel like the mask from the QR was really really nice it was like very soft and then after that would be the Herboflore one and then the Pureness 100 mask and then simply like the Innisfree masks I think had my least favorite texture it wasn't bad but it was just like as opposed to like a the cottony masks where it was soft it felt almost like I was putting paper on my face if that makes sense like a wet paper <laughs> like a paper towel there you go and more of like a paper towel -y texture as opposed to like a like a piece of cottony fabric I think I'm just gonna wash my face maybe watch some TV on my laptop and just go to sleep because I'm gonna have to wake up early again tomorrow but thankfully it's a three-day weekend so I will catch you guys in two weeks.